Good morning, everybody. What's up? <clears throat> Golly, man. It's like early in the morning. Yeah, it's like 8.05 a.m., so what's going on, everybody? Um, my day off is actually doing great. I read an article last night. I wanted to vlog about it last night, but I was like, fuck it, I'll save it for the morning. So, And that is your key right there, that this is going to have some graphic language. So my apologies to all the kids out there, but turn this video off um, if your parents don't allow you to hear that kind of language. But, um, yeah, this is something that I kind of I'm really want to like stress out how bad Virgin Mobile just tanked so <clears throat> now that you know uh, minors who are not allowed to listen to that kind of language are gone hopefully um, last night I read an article which talked about something that I wasn't really allowed to say that could have got me into a lot of trouble and it, you know it's just a whole disclosure thing uh, for where I work but now that the wraps taken off of it I can pretty much talk about it Tell you guys what I think about it and tee off about it, basically. So we're talking about Virgin Mobile, right? Um, or soon to be Virgin Wireless. Eventually, it's going to be called Virgin Wireless. That was the idea. Unless they decided to take that that idea and toss it out and keep it at Virgin Mobile. Who knows? Um, but they have this inner circle thing, okay? And this is something I knew that's going to be pretty bad just for the fact that, you know, what it is. So before I jump right into it, let me just give you a little backstory of what Sprint's idea was. So previous year, Sprint has been trying to fix its postpaid, which has not been fixed yet. That's saved for a different vlog on the absolute weakness of Sprint. Okay. But this year was supposed to be the year for the prepaid companies. They were going to focus hard on Boost Mobile. They were going to focus hard on Virgin Mobile. They were going to bring their prepaid brand up because obviously people have been churning out if you don't know what churn is look up the definition but they've been churning out been going to companies like metro pcs and cricket wireless and even trying some other unorthodox mvnos such as what i use um but so anyhow don't mind those guys leaf blowers and shit but anyways so they said that Virgin Mobile was going to be a disruptor brand, a brand that was going to disrupt the way that prepaid is looked at. I was pretty interested in it. I was like, what are you going to offer that's going to be really good? Well, for a whole year on Virgin Mobile, you can get unlimited talk, text, and data for $1 a month. Can you guys say disruptor? Most of you guys would hear that. And if I told you there was no catch to it, you'd be like, yes, a dollar for a whole, for like a whole month, a dollar a month for a whole year, basically. You get unlimited talk, text, and data. Like, how the hell can you beat that? That beats Boost Mobile's $50 plan. That beats almost every carrier's unlimited plan, right? But there's a damn catch to it. And this catch, I think, is total bullshit. It's total bullshit in this one. So what's going on is, is Virgin Mobile will no longer sell Android devices. Really, bro? You heard it right. They're not going to sell Android devices anymore. What they will do is sell iPhones. Now, for those people who use iPhones, you're not going to find a big deal with that. You'll probably make some sort of joke about it that Virgin Mobile has seen the light and realizes that iPhone is the best. Screw you if you think that. Um, but yeah, iPhones and they have it displayed. Basically Virgin Mobile partnered up with Apple. So you have to buy an iPhone. That's the only, uh, devices that Virgin Mobile is going to currently sell from here on forward, which I think is total bullshit. Why is it total bullshit? Well, because you're, you're, you're restricting everyone to use an iPhone and this to me only states one thing. Okay. And this is speculation this is not fact so those um iphone fans don't jump off your chair and start getting pissed off the only thing that this would tell anyone looking at it from a quick point of view would be that apple's in need of sales to do a deal like this is unheard of for apple to be honest with you guys notifications i'm sorry but to be honest with you guys a deal like this has never been heard of by apple We've never really seen Apple do anything like this. They never needed they never needed to. They never needed to at all. What the fuck, Facebook? They never needed to. 
because Apple was so popular that people were just buying them, even just for the Apple logo. There was people that were buying iPhones for the damn stickers that come in the box. So one would think off first speculation that Apple sales is not that great. If they were to partner up with a brand such as Virgin Mobile, that's going to give unlimited talk and text service for a dollar. All they had to do was buy an iPhone at full price. So that is what Sprint calls a disruptor move. Then the only disruption it's going to do is for the massive amount of people that are Android users to even consider Virgin Mobile as their mobile carrier. That's where it's at. That's where I leave it at. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't mind the leaf blowers. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you on the next one. Later.